it's Anne from the Useless Crafter and today I'm going to show you how to download fonts and make sure that they're up in design space. So um, let's get started. But oh, actually, before we do, if you can subscribe, I would totally appreciate it if you don't already. All right, now we can get started. Okay, so I'm on my favorite site for fonts, which is Creative Fabrica. Um, if you go to Creative Fabrica, you can either purchase the font itself or you can try the $1 membership for the, for the first month. It's a trial membership. Uh, the link is in the description. And if you don't like it, cancel it before the month is over. But, um, you know, it's a dollar just to try in. I love it because it gives me access to so many different fonts. And the other thing that I really like is right here, commercial usage is allowed. So that means I can go and I can take this font, put it on a sweatshirt and sell the sweatshirt and not have to worry about all the different licenses. All right, so I already have my membership. So basically anything on this site, I can just download. So you can either download or purchase. It will be the same once you get to this step. So I'm gonna click on download and you'll see I'll come over and it's right here, it's a zip file. I'm gonna show you this one. This one doesn't look like it has any of the extra glyphs, but let's go to, um, let's go just to the main, the main page so that I can show you where I navigate. So, um, yeah, did it go? Okay, here we go. <laughs> so this is the main page. Um, I usually will go down here and I'll just scroll at the different uh, fonts that are available. Um, there are thousands and thousands, but I like looking at this one just to see what's what's the latest. So, um, you know what? I kind of like this because it has all the extras and I bet this one will be a good one. So I'm gonna click on Love Twist and we'll download that as well. Okay. So both are down here. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just go to my folders and I'll go to downloads. We need to unzip the files. So basically here's Love Twist Duo. I'm gonna double click on it. And um, it's recommended to, the, to do the open type font file. So this one I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna hit the control button and I'm gonna also get the love twist down here. I'm gonna move both of them to my downloads, okay? Then I'm gonna go back to downloads. I know I still need to do Beach Story, so I'm gonna click on Beach Story. This one, I'm just gonna double click on it and install. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to also move this into my downloads, okay? So now let's go to downloads. For love twist, I'm gonna click on that, install, and then I'm gonna double click on this one and install. Okay, the reason why I, oops, I unzipped it and I dropped it back into my downloads so that they're separated out here is because, I'm gonna show you one more thing. Let's go back into Creative Fabrica and under tools, I'm gonna go to Font Cloud. It's an extra step, I totally get it. We wanna open up Font Cloud, but Font Cloud is free and it helps you manage your fonts. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to browse and I'm going to upload these three fonts, okay? So I, um, I selected all three and then I'm gonna hit enter. And now what happens is basically, this is my way to, let's say I'm gonna do Charlotte, okay? Actually, I'm gonna do Keaton because we gotta do a birthday tag for Keaton. So now when I type in Keaton, I can see all my fonts, what it looks like. What's nice is it's the cloud. So if I were to now go onto my laptop, and if you know, the fonts are only downloaded to whichever device that you did it to, right? So right now it's on my desktop. But if I were to now pick up my laptop and decide to use Design Space on my laptop, I don't have to go and download everything again. And I may not even do it right now. It may be a month from now, okay? And I'm gonna decide, oh, I wanna do Keaton's name for something, and I like that font. Well, I don't remember where I purchased the font, where to go get it, but if I like it over here, and let's see, it's called Love Twist, right? So let's say I liked, we're gonna scroll down to Love Twist. Um, here we go and I like this one. So I'm gonna click on it. I don't have it on my desk, on my laptop, 
but now I'm going to download that font and it'll be available on my desktop. And when I do that, it's also going to be available in Design Space on that device. So you can see it's so much easier to manage your fonts that way. Also, how many times have you had a laptop die or you had to replace you know, your device? Um, I've unfortunately have had it happen multiple times. So you don't have to worry about where you got it and try to backtrack or try to remember any of the fonts. You can just use Font Cloud, go up here, you know, type in whatever name or word that you're gonna be doing, and I'm gonna do summer for instance. All of the fonts, as long as you're good about uploading it into Font Cloud, you'll always have it available to you no matter what device you're using. I could even go to my friend's house and if we're gonna craft at her house, I can log into my font cloud and we can use those fonts. So it's just so much easier that way. All right, so <laughs> now that we've downloaded, uploaded, it's everywhere. We're gonna now go into de design space. So let's do that. And let's open this up. And I'm gonna show you how to do the extras. So we'll use both fonts so that we could see what they look like. And I'm just gonna open up my folders because I have such a bad time remembering all the new fonts. So, okay, let's go to new project and we're gonna go to text. And I'm just gonna double click. Double click will get me to, or single click, hold on. You basically need to do that. <laughs> and I'm gonna type in Keaton, change my font to Beach Story. Oh, that looks really whimsical and cute, okay? I'm going to click on this, Control C, Control V, because now I also wanna do it in Love Twist, that's what it's called. And if you remember, Love Twist comes in two different styles. So let's do this. Okay, and then let's duplicate that. And let's do it in Love Twist, the other one. Um, I don't like the way that one looks. I'm just gonna delete it. Let's work with these two fonts. Okay, so now this is what you need to do. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna look up main type. If you don't have main type, then you need to Google it and install it. So I'm going to open it right now. Main type houses all of the extras that come with the font. It's free. I'm going to use the free edition, close that out, and we're gonna look at Love Twist, right? So I'm gonna go over here and go down to Love Twist. Here we go. Love Twist, and we get all the extras, okay? So you're gonna see all the fun stuff that comes with Love Twist, like the swirls, okay? So um, here are swirls, let's see what else. Let's see what the K looks like. There's the regular K. Oh, and here's the, the flowers connecting the two, right? So let's grab that. So when you highlight it, or press down on it, you can see what it comes with. And then I'm gonna hit, because it's highlighted, it's selected, I'm gonna hit Control C, okay? I'm gonna go back into Design Space. I'm gonna open up a new text box. This text box has to match the same font that I just grabbed. And so that was not Love Twist, it was just the regular Love Twist, right? So I'm gonna type in Love Twist. I'm gonna make sure that we're in this one. This one. And then I'm going to click it here and control V, and there's my flowers, okay? So you can make this bigger and then connect it. Because I resized Keaton, I needed to do this. If I, let's start over, so here. Ah, geez. Okay, I'm gonna type in Keaton, okay, and keep and not resize it. So when I go to drop in my next thing, I'm gonna hit Control V to drop, it will be the same size. So if you're gonna do any extras to it, I would do it before you resize it. I was resizing it so we can see it, but that was dumb. <laughs> okay, let's see what other choices that we have. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into main type. 
let's see what all the other extras that we can do. Um, there's this heart, that's cute. So it's highlighted, control C, go into design space, hit the um, text and just hit control V and that will drop in. Oh, let me move this and we can put this in front something like that, right? So that's how you're gonna do it. It's super easy, right? Let's go back into main type and see if there's anything else. Um, so there's the T. I'm wondering if there's like some sort of fancy T that we could do. Um, I don't think they all look the same. I think the only extras were really the little flourishes, this one this one and I thought I saw oh yeah one of these so let's grab this just so that you can see it okay control C go back into design space and I see I'm going to put it let's go to text make sure that this text is the same font that we're dropping in I'm gonna hit control V so you could do this that's how you're gonna add all the extras when you're done adding all the extras, and let me make sure that this is where I want it to be, you're gonna grab everything and you're gonna weld it so that it's all one piece now. And that's all that there is to it. It's super easy, right? It just seems really hard when you don't have all the different applications to use and you're kind of just stuck like, where is the extra stuff, right? <laughs> it's a lot easier to do it this way. All right, I hope that was helpful. Let's see. Uh, the only other thing that I would do is I would probably add an offset. So thank goodness offset is now available in Design Space. This one, for instance, it's currently selected. I'm gonna go to offset. And there's a couple ways to add the offset. You can use the dial. This gives you a bigger offset, right? It's at 0.8, look how thick that is. I can move this closer to the zero line. The zero line is no offset, okay? And you can go inside, you can do an internal offset and that would, you would go into the negative. But right now I usually like about a 0.07. So I'll show you what that looks like. And let's see, it's not updating just yet. And sometimes when it's thinking this long, I'll just get out of it. So that's already there. Let's do this one. Let's go to offset and do 0.07 tab and see if it's going to, uh, it's just thinking right now. It's not working very well. It's still going. So we have a couple options. I'm just going to exit out of it. And we're just gonna go back in. It's super easy and fast to do. And I wanna show you the offset, but I also wanna show you, so let's go to new project, text. And what was that called? Beach story. It's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna make it bigger so you can see. I'm gonna do an offset, 0.07, hit tab. And you see how thick it was? And now it went to like really small. Now here's the other thing. So it's, some of these letters are further apart than others, right? Like the difference, the, the distance between the K and the E is a little bit greater than the distance between A and T. So what we can do is we can ungroup it, move everything over closer to where we want it to be. I'm gonna move these. And you're, if you're wondering why I'm moving it, I'm gonna move these two over just a tad. Because when I do my offset, I want my offset to be one piece. I want a thin offset. So I'm gonna do offset. 0.07 and come on it is not applying uh all right let's cancel out of that for a second i'm going to do one more thing to show you the difference okay so let's do keaton one more time Hold 
I'm gonna show you the two offsets, okay? So they're almost about even, right? So let's do this one, offset. And you see how it's kind of chunky at 0.25? It's a little bit too chunky for me. Let's do 0.07 I hope that it works this time. Oh man, okay, it's not. I don't know why it's not updating. And sometimes it just doesn't. Okay, so it's manually updating over here if I move the bar. Okay, so I get it to 0.1, I'm gonna apply. So you see how my offset is all one. So let's do that. I'm gonna move it out so you can see it. It's all connected. It's one big piece, which I like, okay? So we'll put this back. We're gonna do the 0.11 on here. And you see at the 0.11, I'm gonna apply it, but the K and the E aren't connected. And so that's why I like to move it a little bit. I think everything else connected though. So let me move. So I would have the K would not be connected to everything else and I wanted everything to be connected. So that's why I moved it. You can move it, you don't have to. Um, what you do wanna do though, is you do wanna weld, because um, the O and the N are connected, right? So right now it's like that. Let me just show you what that looks like. Okay, so let's move, let's move this offset out of the way. So I'm gonna make this a lighter color so that we can really see why this is an issue, okay? So right now it looks okay, right? But when you, if you didn't weld it and you went to go cut this, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I'm gonna go to arrange and bring it to the front. You see the O is gonna connect, is gonna cut into the N. The N is gonna cut into the O and you're gonna see those slices because your machine is just gonna cut the full O, the full N, okay? So let me make a duplicate copy so that we can see the difference. Oh my gosh, look at that. I totally, I'm gonna delete that. I don't know what happened. Control C, Control V. Let's see if it does it again. Oh, look at, that copy is so weird. All right. My design space is really acting. Let's see if we click duplicate here, if it does the same thing. Look at duplicated with it all weird. That's so funny. All right, so I won't be able to show you that example, but what I will do is I'm gonna weld it. And now that O is blended into the N. In this one, it that is the only place that it made a difference. Everything else is separated, so it doesn't matter if you weld it or not. All right. That's all I wanted to show you. I hope that was helpful. And oh my gosh, what happened here? Is that not the, is that not the right one? Oh, here, that's why. I was gonna say, it doesn't look right. There we go. All right, I hope that was helpful. Um, let me know what your thoughts, but Font Cloud is free, so definitely get that. Try the $1 membership, see if you like the, the fonts. I love it. Um, this is gonna be for my Font Friday. I'm. I am trying really hard because I like some of my fonts and I stick with it. Um, I am trying really, really hard to expand my horizon, <laughs> pick more fonts, do more projects with new fonts. So anyway, that's where, that's where I am. All right, have a great day. And if you haven't had a chance, and you're in Los Angeles, check out my in-person live workshops. We're doing four of them with Claudia from Miss Olivia Rose Shop. It's called Together We Craft and it's super hands-on. You're gonna be doing all those crafts. You're gonna be crafting along. It's just gonna be a craft girl summer. It's gonna be a lot of fun um, crafting together. All right, I will see you guys later. Bye.